Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Be Entertained. Okay, so here we're going to see Amber Heard for the first time since the trial speak um, in an interview. And, of course, we're going to see her take no accountability and actually this time blame the entire internet. So I'm going to let the content speak for itself. Um, but, again, it's it's uh, I was appalled. So try to make it to the end <laughs> if you can. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would be uh, truly honored if you can. And also, this way you don't miss out on, on future videos. And I'm very active in the comment section. So I'll see you there. You want to make about what happened in the privacy of my own home and my marriage behind closed doors. I, I don't presume the average person should know those things. And so I don't take it personally. But even somebody who is sure I'm deserving of all this hate and vitriol, even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. You cannot tell me that you think that this has been fair. The jury looked at the evidence you presented. They listened to your testimony and they did not believe you. They thought you were lying. How could, I'll put it this way, how could they make a judgment? How could they not come to that conclusion? They had sat in those seats and heard th over three weeks of nonstop, relentless testimony from paid employees and towards the end of the trial, randos, <laughs> as I say. So you but don't blame the jury? I don't blame them. It wasn't, I, I don't blame them. I actually understand he's a beloved character and people feel they know him. He's a fantastic actor. Their job is to not be dazzled by that. Their job is to look at the facts and the evidence. And they did not believe your testimony or your evidence. I, again, how, how could they, after listening to three and a half weeks of testimony about how I was an uncredible person, not to believe a word that came out of my mouth, 